Welcome to this service. At entrance, you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the deaths peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, amen, amen. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secret are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have seen in what we have taught, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and re repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light. Amen. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deu, Amen. The Bible, Matthew 23, part 1 to 36. Jesus criticizes the religious leaders. Then Jesus spoke to the people and to his followers. He said, The teachers of the law, and the Pharisees have the authority to tell you what the law of Moses says. So you should obey them. Do everything they tell you to do. But their lives are not good example for you to follow. They tell you to do things, but they don't do those things themselves. They make strict rulers that are hard for people to obey. They try to force others to obey all their rules, but they themselves will not try to follow any of those rules. The only reason they do what they do is for other people to see them. They make the little scripture boxes, they wear bigger and bigger, and they make the tassels on their prayers prayer clothes long enough for people to notice them. These men love to have the places of honor at banquets and the most important seats in the synagogues. They love for people to show respect to them in the marketplaces and to call them teacher. But you must not you must not be called teacher you are all equal as brother and sister you have only one teacher 
and don't call anyone on earth father you have one father he is in heaven and you should not be called master you have only one master the messiah whoever serves you like a servant is the greatest among you people who think they are better than others will be made humble but people who humble themselves will be made great it will be bad for you teachers of the law and you pharisees you are hypocrites you close the way for people to enter god's kingdom you yourself don't enter and you stop those who are trying to enter <laughs> it will be bad for you teachers of the law and you pharisees you are hypocrites you travel across the seas and across different countries to find one person who will follow your ways when you find that person you make him worse than you are and you are so bad that you belong to in hell it will be it will be bad for you teachers for the law and you pharisees you guide the people but you are blind you say if anyone uses the name of the temple to make a promise that means nothing but anyone who uses the gold that is in the temple to make a promise must keep that promise you are blind fools can't you see that the temple is greater than the gold in it it's the temple that makes the gold holy and you say if anyone uses the altar to make a promise that means nothing but anyone who uses the gift on the altar to make a promise must keep the promise you are blind can't you see that the altar is greater than any gift on it it is the altar makes the gift holy whoever uses the altar to make a promise is really using the altar and everything on in on the altar and anyone who uses the temple to make promise is really using the temple and God who lives in it whoever uses heaven to make a promise is using God's throne and the one who is seated on it it will be bad for you teachers of the law and you Pharisees you are hypocrites you give God a tenth of the food you get and even your mind deal and kumi but you don't obey the really important teaching of the law being fair showing mercy and being faithful these are the things you should do and you should also continue to do other things you guide the people but you are blind think about a man picking a little fly out of his drink and then swallowing a camel you are like that it will be bad for you teachers of the law and you pharisees you are hypocrites you wash clean the outside of your cups and dishes but inside you are full of what you got by cheating others and pleasing yourselves pharisees you are blind first make the inside of the cup clean and good then the outside the cup will also be clean it will be bad for you teachers of the law and you pharisees you are hypocrites 
you are like thumbs that are painted white outside outside they look fine but inside they are full of dead people's bones and all kinds of fields it is the same with you people look at you and think you are goodly but on the inside you are full of hypocrisy and evil it will be bad for you teachers of law and you Pharisees you are hypocrites you build tombs for the prophets and you show honor to the graves of the badly people who were killed and you say if you had lived during the time of our ancestors we would not have, have helped them kill these prophets so you give proof that you are descendant of those who killed the prophets and you will finish the scene that your ancestors started you are snakes you are from a family of poisonous snakes you will not escape God you will all be judged guilty and go to hell so I tell you this I send you I send to you prophets and teachers who are wise and know the scriptures you will kill some of them you will hang some of them on, on crosses you will beat some of them in your synagogues you will chase, chase them from town to town so you will be guilty for the death of all the good people who have been killed on earth you will be guilty for the killing of that goodly godly man Abel and you will be guilty for the killing of Zechariah son of Berachia he was killed between the temple and the altar you will be guilty for the killing of the for all the good people who lived between the time of Abel and the time of Zechariah. Believe me when I say that all these things will happen to you people who are living now. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Epistle Roman 15 part 14 to 21. Paul talks about his work. My brothers and sisters, I know without a doubt that you are full of goodness and have all the knowledge you need so you are certainly able to counsel each other but I have written to you very openly about some things that I wanted you to remember I did this because God gave me this special gift to be a servant of Christ Jesus for those who are not Jews I serve like a priest whose duty it is to tell God's good news. He gave me this work so that you non-Jewish people could be an offering that he will accept, an offering made holy by the Holy Spirit. That is why I feel so good about what I have done for God in my service to to Christ Jesus. I will not talk about anything I, need, I did myself. I will talk only about what Christ has done with me in leading 
the non-Jewish people to obey God. They have obeyed him because of what I have said and done. And they obeyed him because of the power of the miraculous signs and wonders that happened. All because of the power of God's spirit. I have told people the good news about Christ every night from Jerusalem to Illyricum. And so I have finished that part of my work. I always want to tell the good news in places where people have never heard of Christ. I do his I do this because I don't want to build on the work that someone else has already started. But as the scriptures say, those who were not told about him will see and those who have not heard about him will understand it. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Gospel. John 20, part 1 to 9. News that Jesus has risen from death. Early on Sunday morning, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb. She saw that the large stone was moved away from the entrance. So she ran to Simon Peter and the other follower, the one Jesus loved very much. She said, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other followers started going to the town. They were both running, but the other follower ran faster than Peter and reached the town first. He bent down and looked in. He saw the pieces of linen, linen cloth lying there, but he did not go in. The Simon Peter finally reached the town and went in. He saw the pieces of linen lying there. He also saw the cloth that had been around Jesus' head. It was folded up and laid, laid in a different place from the pieces of linen. Then the other follower went in, and one who had reached the tomb first. He saw that what had happened and believed. These followers did not understand from the scripture that Jesus must rise from death. Glory be to you, O Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The city of God. God is a strong place for us where He will keep us safe. He will always help us when troubles come. So even when the earth shakes, we will not be afraid. And when the mountains fall down into the deep sea, we will still not be afraid. If the sea makes dangerous waves so that even the mountains shake, we will never be afraid. There is a river that runs into the city of God and it brings God's blessing to the people there. That is the holy place where the Most High God lives. God is in that city. Nothing can ever destroy it. When down comes God will be there to help it. Nations are shouting with anger. Kingdoms shake and fall. God calls in a loud voice and even the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is there to help us. The God of Jacob keep us safe. 
Come and see the great things that the Lord has done. He has brought terrible things to the earth. All over the world, He causes wars to finish. He destroys the soldiers' bows and spears. He burns their shields in a fire. He says, be still and quiet. Understand that I am God. I rule as king over the nations. All the world will say that I am great. The Lord Almighty is there to help us. The God of Jacob keeps us safe. Hallelujah. Preaching God's plan for your life. Once open a time deep in, a, in the wood, there were three trees. One warm summer day, they were discussing their hopes and dreams. The first tree said, Someday I hope to be a treasure chest. I could be filled with gold, silver, and precious stones. I could be decorated with beautiful carving sand. Everyone could see my beauty. The second tree said, Someday I will be a mighty ship. I will take kings and queens across the waters and sail to the corner of the world. Everyone will feel safe in my, me because of the strength of my heart. Finally, the last three spoke up. I want to grow to the tallest and strongest tree in the forest. People will see me on top of the hill and look up to my branches. They will think of the heavens and God. They will feel like I am reaching to heaven. I will be the greatest tree of all time and people will always remember me. After a few years of praying for uh, their dreams to come true, a group of woodmen came upon the trees. One woodman came upon the first tree and said, this looks like a strong tree. I think I should be able to sell the wood to a carpenter. He began to cut it down. The tree was happy. He knew that a carpenter would make him into a beautiful treasure chest. The second woodman came upon the second tree and said, This looks like a perfect tree to sell to a, the shipyard. The tree was so happy, he knew he would uh, become a mighty ship and sail the seas. The woodman, the woodsman came upon the third tree. He was frightened. If they cut him down, his hope and dreams would be crushed. The third woodman said, I don't need anything special. I'll take this one down. So he cut it down. The first three arrived at the car carpenter. They made him into a feed box for animals. He was placed in a barn and filled with hay. This is not what he had prayed for. The second tree was cut into a small fishing boat. He would not be carrying kings or queens across the seas. The third tree, he was cut into pieces and left alone in the dark. The years went by, and the trees forgot about their dreams of becoming great someday. Until one day, a man and woman came into a barn. A baby was born and lied in the feed box from the first tree. The man wished he could have a cry for the baby, but the manger was perfect. The tree now held the greatest treasure of all time. Years later, a group of men got into a small fishing boat made from the second tree. While out on the water, a great storm came up. The tree did not think he was strong enough to hold together and keep the men safe. The men were frightened. They awoke. Um, one man sleeping through storm. He stood and said, Peace! And the storm stopped. The tree now knew that it was carrying the king of all kings. 
Finally, some came and got the third tree. It was carried off through the streets as people mocked the man carrying him. They came to a stop. After a long walk, the man carrying him was the was then nailed to the tree and raised. On the top of the hill, in a few days went by. The tree came to realize that it was on the top of the hill standing strong. This was the closest to God as possible because Jesus was crucified on him. Each of these trees but what they prayed for, just not what they had imagined. In their hearts, man plans his course, but the Lord establishes their steps. Never fear, God always has a plan for you, plan for you to prosper. Amen. The Creed We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Plate. This, uh, he, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayers of intercessions. We pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts and live in peace and grace. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for all poor countries. Give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people. Please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The peace. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life the peace of the lord be always be with you amen preparation of taking the bread and wine you must have a piece of bread and a glass of uh, non-alcoholic wine, wine or water. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be with God. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this vine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Amen. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For He is your living Word. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through Him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving Him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised Him from the dead and exalted Him to your right hand of high. Through Him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving Spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions. Therefore, we angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing, Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father through your Son, our salvation, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who is in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember this offering of him, himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of our kingdom. And with this bread and this cup of 
cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Amen. Accept through him our great High Lord, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and glory and are yours now and forever amen If you are many, break the bread and share with each other. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Amen. Giving of communion. Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean. Our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat this crumb, the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son that he may live in us and we in him, and that we, with the whole company of Christ, may sit and eat in your kingdom. Amen. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. You can eat the bread and drink the wine or water. If it is water you are drinking, you can uh, ask Jesus to turn as wine in your body. The peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. It is the end of the service. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. At exit, you should tell, I give over my past to the mercy of God, my presence for the love of God, 
and my future of God's protection. Amen.